In the book, The Last Arrow, Erwin McManus wrote, We define ourselves to be average if we do not choose to defy the odds. To be above average demands a choice. He went on to say, We must war against the temptation to settle for less. Our group here has made a choice to be above average, to do better. If we're not going to settle for average, then we need to cement into our brain and daily life this. One, we must have clarity in what we want. And two, even more important, is why. We will be working with you to start you on that journey to get focus on your preferred future. We want to thank you for joining us and we're excited to be working with you. I would like to start with a challenge or a question for you. What are you capable of? Thomas Edison is quoted as saying, if we did all the things we're capable of, we would literally astound ourselves. When was the last time you were astounded? What would be the difference in six months, 12 months, three years, if you were at your best each and every day? What the 12 week year process is all about is helping you show up at your best in the areas that matter to you the most in your life, in your personal life and in your business life. Brian and Mike asked thousands of people, what does it take to be your best? Some people say knowledge and intellect. Usually they're the smart Alex. President Calvin Cooley said, Nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education, education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. The slogan, press on, has solved and always will solve the problems of the human race. Other people say strategy and ideas is what it takes, but that's not it. They help, but that's not what the difference maker is. If it were, after we sat through a seminar, we could take the knowledge and the ideas and go be successful. Everyone in the room would be, right? But that doesn't happen. Does it? You might say it's who you know. Well, it certainly helps to know people. But again, it does not get you where you want to be. What we have discovered, what is needed, is determination and execution. Things like knowledge and power are only good if you use it. So learning how to execute in a consistent manner is a great advantage to achieving more. Sam and I want to share with you a system designed to help you perform at your best day in and day out through better execution. The answer has its foundation in what is called periodization, which was a revolutionary way for athletes to train for the Olympics. It created a fundamental shift in the way they think and the way they act. So, as we go through this training, we're going to talk a lot about results and how you might get better results. If asked, how do you get results, you might say it requires action. Every time you take an action, it produces a result. It may not be the one you want, but it produces some type of result. Now, it begs the question, why do we behave the way we behave? Why do we act the way we act? This clearly is a combination of our upbringing, our education, our family values, where we live, when we live. But in the end, it all comes down to how we think, what we think. So in essence, our thinking drives our actions. Our actions drive our results. So in reality, our thinking creates our results. Our thinking controls the little things in life, controls the big things in life. Now, research tells us that the average person has 50,000 thoughts a day. 
It also went on to say that 90 to 95 percent of those thoughts are repeats from the day before. How can you create different results while having the same thoughts you had the previous day? Albert Einstein said, we can't solve today's problems with the same thinking we had when we created them. We need a shift in the way we think, in the way we act. And it starts with how do you set your goals and how you work your plan. And how do we all normally do that? New Year's Eve resolutions, annual goals is what most of us do. And how does that work? We break them down to quarterly and monthly and go about it. But what happens at the first of the year? Nobody is really worried or concerned. Why? Because we have 12 months. In month two, a little of the same, but not much urgency yet. And so on until we get to about month 11. Then we turn on the jets. And why? Because the deadlines are fast approaching. It's a line in the sand we set for ourselves, but it might be too late. This year-long plan leads to the illusion that there's a lot of time, so we don't worry about it out of the gate. This is an arbitrary deadline. This December 31st is an arbitrary number. Now, to achieve more, to maximize your efforts, we found that you have to get out of this annualized thinking. We go to the periodization model. This was and has been used by Olympic athletes at least since the 1970s. It broke down their training into smaller, detailed activities. Brian Moran discovered utilizing this approach created great results. Focus on the things that matter and have a fast approaching deadline. Breaking down annualized thinking so that 12 weeks equal 12 months was a game changer. It gives us time to get something done, but not time to sit idle. When a week equals a month, every week matters. Utilize this day in and out over 12 weeks, and you will achieve great results. We look forward to riding with you and guiding you on this adventure. In the next video, I will cover the five disciplines and three principles that will make this a smooth transition. Sam and I felt like this was the ticket to our train, and we hopped on board. So all we can say is, welcome aboard. Final destination, your preferred future.